welcome to this demonstration of biometric attendance system using iot project now this is a very useful project for those people who can keep who want to keep track of the attendance of the students attending the class online through the iot gecko web, web interface what happens over here is uh, the students have their own login on this iot gecko web page the teachers have their own login and the hod have their own login uh, what happens is when the student registers their finger on the system using this fingerprint sensor it uh, accepts is and saves it in its uh, memory then whenever the next time that student wants to give the attendance he can simply put the place the finger over the fingerprint sensor the system will recognize the fingerprint and uh, it will upload it on the internet database over this iot gecko web page now this data can be viewed by the teacher also and by the hod also so let us see how this all things are working first we will have to enter the username and password of your project so once we log in into the system we have to go to class attendance here it will ask for the login id and password and a type so let let us first actually start the system and uh, register the student student's finger into the system as the system starts the system says initializing and uh, it tries to connect to the wifi connection through which it will actually have the iot connection once it got connected it will ask the user to enroll a few student fingerprints so now let us enter the first student fingerprint into the system now it is asking for class a or class b that means does the students belongs to a particular class a or to the class b so let us assume that this particular student is belonging to class a and uh, he wants to register his finger for attendance purpose while registering the finger the student has to place it twice for confirmation and then an id number is associated with this fingerprint to the uh, that is given to the student that is this student is now id number 1 now let us see if uh, the same fingerprint comes that means the student tries to register for another student uh, also for class a let us see what happens it says that already registered as number 1 so duplicate entry is not allowed into the system which ensures that it is ju a just system so now let us go to the next student registration suppose now the next student is from class b so let us navigate to class b and enter let us place another finger on the fingerprint sensor twice now this student has been assigned the id number 2 so id number 1 student belongs to class a and id number 2 student belongs to class b suppose now we are done with the registration part and uh, now we want to start so we have to press the back button and start the system now uh, before we start uh, we can see that uh, here there is a login and password now for every student there is a login id there is a unique login id and unique password that is associated with that student similar thing applies to the teacher and hod hod also so we will go through everything as we uh, proceed with the demonstration let us now actually register the attendance of the first student So user number one, 
who belongs to class A has been registered and this data is being sent over to the internet. So this data had been sent to the internet. Now let us actually uh, see the internet database. If the student actually wants to uh, look after his internet, uh, his uh, attendance in the past, he can simply log in with this ID and there will be a unique password given to the student which can be input and he can select the student type and login. After successful login, we can see that the current information came and the past information were also saved in the database. So uh, similar thing happens when the student again uh, gives the attendance. Now let us see how live monitoring happens. Let us again put the place, uh, place the same finger of the student 1. So this attendance has been registered and it is now being sent over to the internet. So now you can see that the current data has been updated over here. So in this way, the student can access their own attendance sheet lively on the internet. Now let us see the if the another student wants to access. So simply the ID number he can enter over here and the unique password that has been given to the student number 2 and the type will be student again. Let us log in and, uh, and let us now try to make an attendance of the second student. So the attendance of the second student has been registered and it's being sent over to the internet. It has been sent from the system and it has been received over here. You can see that the student ID with the date and time stamp has been printed over here. So the student can lively uh, look after their attendance sheet. Now if the, two, if the teacher of the class wants to see the attendance of their students of the particular class, let us see how this happens. Suppose the class A teacher uh, the ID given to the class A teacher is 1001 and there is a unique password and there is a unique password given to the teacher of the first class we have to select the type as teacher and then login here we can see that the teacher can actually access the whole database of class A which student has uh, registered when uh, all these details are chronologically placed in this table. Similar thing uh, is for the teacher 2 also. We have to log out and uh, log in with the second ID and the unique, ID, the unique password given to the teacher 2. We can see that class B attendance is over here. Now let us see how the teacher gets the live details. Suppose that teacher 2 is uh, monitoring and uh, a class B student comes in. The attendance has been registered on the system and it's being sent over to the internet. Now we can see that the live information has come here over here. So in this way, the teacher can also uh, track lively the attendance sheet of the students and similar thing follows for the HOD. HOD is the head of the department. He can simply view the attendance sheet of both the classes and review. So this is the sheet of both the classes class A, class B, all the students who have been registered who have been registered and 
their attendance were taken into the system are cr chronologically placed in this table uh, as per the date time stamp at which time they came into the class and gave the attendance so this is a very useful system for the teachers and the students and also to the hod that means for every anyone using the system it gives a very lively information and uh, thus it proves to be very beneficial in keeping track of the students for the sc uh, school and college authorities so this is how the project works thank you